Good evening, everybody. And welcome to Monday Night Stream. Hope everybody's having a great, had, had a great weekend. Um, how does my mic sound? I know I had to change some stuff. Somebody can give me an idea. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, dear. So, uh, lots to talk about tonight. Uh, there's been lots going on in the background with rage. Um, and I've got some stuff I want to talk about. Um, other stuff. So, at some point, I'll show the puppy. She's around here somewhere, sleeping in front of my desk. Um, and I want to uh, make anybody popping in the stream know that uh, I am very much looking for conversation about indie game development that's what this channel is for it's to help other indie game developers to showcase their projects to ask questions about the development process itself including the art side of it the coding side the sound side the visual side as well as the setting up with google play and, and itch.io and how to package and um I want this to be a channel about all of that stuff. Um, there are other channels out there that specifically are there to promote indie game development. Um, that And these channels are run by people that aren't technically indie game devs. Am I quiet, Cabot? For you? Turn yours up. <laughs> no, am I quiet, though? Yeah, I'm already in right at the edge of green. Turn that up. How's that? Does that help at all? No, I'll turn the gain up a little bit. It's been a while since I've used this mic. So yeah, basically that's my goal. And I want... And if the more people come into the channel, the more conversations we'll get the more I'll be motivated to stream more, which means I'll stream more often. So um, I love streaming. I like talking to you guys about stuff. I like... Yeah, the... Mis yeah, sorry about that. It's... it's The problem with it is it was... it the, the, the bumpy things that would massage you were like made out of hard plastic. And they had no give to them. So they they were hurting her. Like she's got these two tendons that are running up her rotocuffs right now. And uh, these hard plastic knobs are like pushing up against those nerves. And they actually did more damage than, than good. We'll find something else. Though. Don't worry. We'll take that money and put towards something else. Ugh, trying to get comfortable here, but I need a new mic boom. This one sucks. Cheap $19 one. So we'll give it a little bit. We'll give it a few more minutes, and then um, I'll pop over to the other screen, and then people can see that are surfing or browsing uh, Twitch. They'll see the game itself a few more people in yeah that's just the nature of this mic dude i can't really do anything about that and i try when i talk i try to do this sort of thing but it's hard to do um and it's also this boom like the the one i want to get that's in my wish list actually is set up so it would come under my mic and then the mic would sit literally right here like in front of me and I would be talking down into it, which is the way it's supposed to be. But yeah, I try. I try to keep near the bike because I know it's it can get quiet. 
That is so big, it covers my whole face. Okay, uh, well, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna load up. I think it's five, I don't know. So thanks, uh, Abbott and Wifey for joining in. Um, something else I did today, and I'll show you guys, I'll, I'll show you the testing for it. I, um, made some new alerts. So, like, so these are, these are what come up now when you subscribe or, oh, I should have changed that. That should be follower. Uh, I'm going to change that while I'm here. That should be that one. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And then you got one for subscription. <laughs> And then I got one for this And I got one for donations. Uh, and then I got one for... This one's funny. Uh, the raids one is really funny. What do you want? And then merch. But yeah, I'm wondering if I should. This thing. I wonder if this should be moved over here. This. That. Try that. That's better. Okay. So yeah, those are my new my new things I did. That that one should say that should say raid and it doesn't. Uh, yeah, that should be that one. Let's try that again. So that's when somebody raids the channel that happens but yeah cool so they all work they all look good all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here Um, okay, so this is, okay, so what's going on with Rage? Because I'm going to make, going to make a YouTube video out of this because I think it's important. Okay. We have come to the conclusion, me and Void, that this version of Rage, uh, the best way to describe it is it's, a prototype um, for testing out mechanics and just the overall feel of the game and, and how things work and how things run and feel and all that stuff. Because get that going so you can watch the water while I talk. Um, because when I first started this game, I started it with somebody else. And a lot of the mechanics and stuff we wanted to put in the game, we can't put in this version because of the way the game was originally built. We'd literally have to tear the whole game down to nothing. And then 
rebuild it back up and that would just take too much time so we have decided that um this version of rage is going to be our prototype our um there's another word for it prototype is a good word but there's another um another phrase for it um just proof of concept that's the other one so this is like our proof of concept this is to see if this type of game is going to work and how it feels um we are going to finish it we have an expansion coming out for it that's going to have three new levels three new characters um there's a piggy bank system which is like a passive earning thing where you put money into it and then um the and then you got to keep feeding the pig so that your interest rate stays high so that you get more money per day uh that's a mechanic we're putting into the game uh i'll show you some stuff that we've already put in the gems are already in the game that currency will be for anything above level six uh, for your power-ups for any uh characters going forward any maps going forward you'll need gems gems are going to be rare they only drop in chests and there's only a chance that you're going to get one per chest so they're going to be very rare we're also going to be adding a trader into the game so that you can trade gold for gems if you want that's weird that you can barely hear me dude because i'm looking at my thing and it's like really really high Hang on a second. Let me try turning the gain up a little bit, see if that makes a difference. How's that? Is that any better? I saw it go up on my meter. Yeah, it's way higher. I just don't want to get blown out. That's all. It's possible that I might have turned this down by accident i can fix this in post but i can't fix it in in stream other than on the go like i am now okay so where was it um so piggy bank the gems there's also we've also added in uh, four new attack uh, a new attack a fourth new attack for everybody it's a dash attack uh, because I noticed when I was playing the game uh, when you had to walk from one end to the to the map to the other it your character can only walk they they have like what's called a like almost like a jog mechanic um, and that was because of mobile right so I found that it it became tedious so what we've done is we've added in a fourth attack which is a movement attack a movement ability plus an attack so you dash for it i'll show it to you here in a minute uh you dash forward and it does damage as you're dashing forward so it's like it's an attack and a movement ability at the same time it's really cool so that's been added in that's already in the gems are already in we just haven't added anything in the game that uses them um, this is one of the two new maps that we're going to be adding. Um, this is a pirate cove. I'll show it off in a minute here. And then the other map is an actual crypt or it's like a dungeon, but I, we already have a dungeon. So I called it a crypt. Um, and that the character, and I'll show you the character here as well. The character that's going with the pirate map is a, uh, female pirate sorceress. And all her abilities and magic are uh, water-based. So that's going to add a really cool new dynamic. And we've got some cool powers picked out for her. She's going to have a wave ability where she sends waves out, which is going to be cool. Um, and then the other character is a brawler, like a Hulk-type character. And that's going to be my favorite character because um, all his attacks are physical punches. Um, he's going to have a foot stomp attack that is a, like an AOE that affects everything around him. And then he's going to have a clap, like the Hulk clap that affects everything in front of him. And then he'll have like an overhead smash, which does single, single targets, max damage. Um, and then for the third, the third character in the third map, we don't know what we're doing yet. I have some ideas, but I'm not sure yet. 
Um, trying to think what else. I should bring up my list. I have a list. things that I want to do. Okay, so let's see. So the other thing that's going to be added is the, the skeleton fighter. This is something we wanted to do from the very beginning, but it just kept getting um, sort of put off because we had other stuff we wanted to do was in that the fighter is going to get like a weapon trail um vfx so that when he swings his weapon he's going to have enough like a trail effect um the other thing and this is the thing that's kind of putting it's kind of putting everything else on hold right now because we're having an issue with getting it to to work entirely the way we want it to and that's the destructive props. Um, I, we were going to do it one way and then it just turned out to be way too much work to do it the way I wanted to do it was just, was like, like for instance, this box. If I wanted to use this box, I would have to take this box into a 3D program and literally make pieces that look like it and then apply a texture to it to make it look like it. And then we used an exploder to when you destroy the prop, it um, spawns the pieces as if it's broken it. And we just found that it looked, if you go to the graveyard, um, you can see the, the it working in the graveyard level. Um, and it works for the skeletons. So, um, but other than that, I, I just don't think it works well enough to do what we want. So we have... Uh, started working towards using Fracture. Fracture is the chaos mechanic that's built right into Unreal. And it works really well when it works. <laughs> and we're in the process of, and I'll show you a little bit here. Um, I'll get the game running and I'll show you a little bit how it works. Because it works kind of right now, but not entirely all the time. Um, and we think it's because of the hierarchy of how we have everything set up in the blueprint. So void i'm not sure if he's doing it tonight or tomorrow but he's supposed to be playing with it to see if he can fix it he thinks he has an idea on what's the problem is um but that's going to give full destruction what that does is we take the original mesh and we make what's called um i'll show you here what's called a uh um geometry collection and that's what all these are, right? Um, I haven't made one for these guys yet, but uh, let's see here if I can pick one. Like this barrel here. This is a geometry collection. It's just, it basically, what I've gone through and done is like if I take, let's go into fracture. And I've got this chose, and if I hit new, and then I go to, I need to save it somewhere. So we'll go Interactables, Private Cove. We'll call this um, GC Pirate Rate 01. And now what I do is I uh, pick something that I want to. Um, and the way Fracture works, it's really quite smart. I only need to make one cut. So if I do, if I take this, and you can see the planer in here. If I hit that and then I hit Fracture, it makes the pieces for me already. So, um, let's try, let's try like a, just a straight up cut and see how that looks. See it like it, it basically creates bones and those bones are used to split the pieces apart 
And this is exactly the way it'll, fl when it flies apart, this is exactly the way it would look. So yeah, so that's, that's now made. That's, that's a fracture that, that's made. So if I go out of fracture and I go, um, I go back into our interactables. I'll just show you one here real quick. Um, where's my barrel? Here's my barrel. If I go here and I show you this. There's a geometry collection here and this is where it goes, right? And basically what this geometry collection does is it replaces the static mesh that we're using. Now, the problem we're having, I think, is that there has to be a static mesh in the hierarchy. And that static mesh needs to be the root. And I think that's the problem we're having. So once we add that as root, this should work perfectly. So I'm going to delete that. Um, place it. Okay. Because right now, the problem, and this is the problem, I'll show you right now. Watch what happens when I hit, I hit simulate. Take a second. See how everything blows apart? And that's that's the problem we're having. Everything just literally blows into pieces without being touched. So if I go down here. Um so yeah, that's that's the big wall we're hitting right now. That's the big hurdle we're we're dealing with right now is the destruction. And honestly, in my mind, um, that's a very, very, very important part of this game. It was supposed to be in before we released it, um, but we couldn't get it working. Um, so I'll show you this. This is really cool. So a couple of things that I've done. Um, you can see everything just, let Pope boat over there just blew up. You can see everything blowing up. Couple things I've done. A, I've added dynamic footsteps. So depending on where, what material or what you're stepping on, it plays a set of random footstep sounds that I made. I've made these cues and each one of these cues has minimum of four separate sounds. And it, what it'll do is it'll, when your foot hits the ground, it'll randomly play these um, sounds. One of this stack of these sounds. So, See if we can hear it here. So you can hear that I'm on sand. Also, notice the footprints. So I have I have the def footprint deformant now on on the map. Um, this is obviously going to only work in certain maps, like this sand map. It works really well. Here, yeah. Um, uh, and I'm trying to think. We don't have any other maps where this will be used, right? It's just the way. It's just the nature of it. Um, the other issue I'm having is like the dynamic sounds. Like if I go over here and walk on this, you can hear it changes to stone. If I go hop on this, you can hear the wood. So it's all it's all dynamic now. So depending on what you stand on is what you hear. Now, the only thing I can't get working right now, and I'm still researching it and trying to figure it out, is the water. Uh, for some reason, the process I'm using now to make this work is not working. So, I'll figure it out. I always figure everything out. Just a time. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the island map. I'll give you a quick tour. Um, speed up the map here. Okay, so this is the... Uh, so, basically, the, the, the round will take place on this island right here. 
We're going to put invisible barriers so you can't go anywhere else other than here. You might be able to go a little bit into the water, but you can't go very far. New follower. Maiden sub. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. It's awesome. So, uh, because right now it's set up, there's a, like a drop. <laughs> and I mean, when I say a drop, I mean, it's a drop. It's a drop. <laughs> it goes down to like nothing. Um, so there's no point, like there was no point in um, in uh, allowing you guys to get out here. So we're going to basically put an invisible barrier here. Um, and then there's an underwater section here as well. I'm probably going to add... Um, you won't be able to swim, but I'm probably going to add a water volume in here so that you will get slowed when you're under the water. Um, and that's easy to set up. I just haven't done it yet. These maps are no by, by no means even close to being done. Um, so you got this pirate ship. It's dry docked. Um, and it's going to be a place where you... It, there's going to be a lot of stuff on here to break. That's why it's there. Um, there's a floating ship out there that's more just decoration. Um, and then there's this area over here that you'll be able to get into. Um, you'll, you'll break these doors and then there's going to be uh, some treasure in there for you to get. Um, but in order to get up there, you got to go through here. Uh, all the doors are going to be breakable. So you can you have to break the doors in order to get in. Which I think is cool. Um, that hasn't um, been on any other map. Um, but yeah, this, this map is gorgeous and I'm, I'm not even done with it yet. Like I haven't even added any of the props, but here I'll show you, see if we can get this destruction to work a little bit. I know it does work a little bit. Why did I end up over here? Weird. Okay. So if I go, so, um, New dash attack. Pretty cool, right? Um, you can either use this button. Recharge on it, I think, is four seconds. Um, we're not sure if we're going to keep it that way, but for right now it's four seconds. And then, or you can hit four is your dash button. Um, his weapon um, trails are going to match his. Uh, his dash FX as well. So everything ties in. But if I go over here and I break this. Oh, it's not working. I thought that one was working. Okay, well, let's try this one. See, it's partially working, right? And that's, um, you've got to admit, that is cool, right? That's badass. Like, that adds like a whole other element to the game when stuff breaks like that, right? Um, I need the coins to pick up. But right now they're 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 movable objects, which they're supposed to be, right? Some of these work and some of these don't. I, guess I haven't. Some barrels I added just for the sake of adding them, just for decoration. Yeah, that one works. See how it sometimes it breaks and sometimes it doesn't, and that's what we're dealing with. It's the inconsistency that's not that's not there, right? The consistency isn't there, is what I should say. Um, but yeah, but it's gonna be it's gonna be so cool when we have it working properly and it's set up properly. Um, it's gonna be so cool. Like we're it's you guys are gonna love it. Um, okay. So let's, I keep using the wrong button to move around. Okay, so let's load another map. Let's go to, so that's the Pirate Cove map. Um, and, okay, so further plans. The plan is to finish this game um, 90%. In other words, get the the two maps and the two new characters in. And then... Uh, put it up on Steam. Because 
we need a community behind this game. We need people to play it. We need people to talk about it because like I was saying earlier, this is a prototype. It's a proof of concept for Rage 2. And Rage 2 is going to have all of the stuff in it that this one doesn't. Leveling, character leveling. Uh, it's going to have equipment that you can loot and equip. Weapons that you can equip. They're going to all have stats. When you go up levels, you're going to get stats. Um, there's just all kinds of things that this game doesn't have that we wanted to put in the first one and we just didn't have um it just the amount of time it would have taken to remove the game to to tear the game down and rebuild it it's just it just we figured we'll just continue with what we have we'll do this as a proof of concept we'll get it out there so people can play it we'll help it'll help build a community around us and around the the, the game studio and then we'll start developing rage 2 because rage 2 is going to need money we need a kickstarter because the one thing about rage is that 99 percent of the assets are from the unreal store and i don't feel justified in charging money for something that i didn't build the assets for and as you all know i am an artist i'm a i'm a 3d artist i'm a texture like i build this stuff myself so for Rage 2, we need the money for Rage 2 so that I can get the software I need, which is ZBrush and Substance Painter, so that I can make the assets for the game. So what's probably going to happen is we're probably going to have the six levels that are in this game are probably going to be in the other game. They're just going to be more advanced versions and higher detail. Um... They're just going to look better because I'm going to be the one that made them in my vision instead of having to rely on somebody else's assets. Um, so yeah, that's that's why we are trying our hardest to get this done and up on Steam free, of course, so that we can build a community behind the game so that we can get a Kickstarter. And then once we have the... like, We want to have like thousands of followers so that when the Kickstarter goes live, people will back it, right? Because they've already been playing the first game and they love it and they want to see a better better version of it, right? Okay, so this is the other map. Um, and this one's going to be for the brawler slash barbarian type Hulk character. Um, and this is this is very much a crypt, right? Um, if I hit play, you can start, you can walk around it. Um, but you can see the dynamic footsteps work in here too. I've got it all set up in here, but this is a, a this is quite a big map. It, it's got a, a small little dungeon as well in it, like a jail section. And it's got this huge crypt and I'm going to put stuff along these walls for you to destroy. Um, and in here, you'll probably be able to destroy most of this stuff. That's the other thing with the new character that we are bringing out. She's a ranged character, so her attacks are going to be ranged attacks. So she, you'll be able to hit things from far away. So she'll be a completely different play style than the other characters. Um, so if I want to hit that statue here, I'm going to be able to, I'll have an attack where I can hit that statue, right? If it's within range. Um, that's something that we that, that the other characters can't do right but yeah this is this is a really cool map um it really shows the dash the dash off really good um so yeah so that's that's the that's the fifth map the sixth map and the sixth character we're going to be um that'll be later once we've put it up on Steam and we've, because that'll be the last character and the last map for the game. And then the game at that point will be 100% complete. Other than maybe the occasional hot fix, it's going to be a complete game. And then at that point, we're going to start moving on to working on Rage 2. Um, which reminds me, I've already got the logo made for Rage 2. Um,
This. This is the logo for Rage 2. So it's like I've already started working on assets for the second game because it's you now it makes sense, right? Um, and then the icon, the game icon for Rage 2 is probably going to have a couple of these dots in it. Probably have one here and one here just to indicate that it's the second one, right? Yeah, so there's that. Now, the other big thing is... is this. This is the, um, she didn't show up. Okay, well that's weird. I dropped her in the game. Why is she not showing up? Hmm. That was weird. Why is she not showing up? Weird. Okay, but that's but that's her. <laughs> she is a um she is a a pirate sorceress with water-based attacks. And she's she's a beautiful model. We found her on Unreal to Unreal. Um again, I would love to be able to make this stuff myself, but I just do not have the software that I need to make this stuff. And I'm not going to sit here and try to learn a whole new software just like I've got ten years in ZBrush, why why would I go to Blender when I already know ZBrush? Like Blender is a completely different UI. Like it'll take me it'll take me six months just to learn the UI, right? Um, so yeah, I'd rather just wait. And this seemed at the time like the best idea. Just make the game that we want to make, use assets, and then um, when we move on to Rage Two, then we can remake these characters or modify them because we've already paid for them modify them with our own style like i can make a new hat for her, make a new shirt that sort of thing keep the base model but maybe change your clothes a little bit so it's um but yeah that's that's her and then This is the character we're going to be using for the brawler. Um, he's not going to have any weapons. He's pretty much going to be just the way he is without the weapons. Um, and he's going to be just a, a brute Hulk character that just smashes everything with his fists. Um, in Rage 2, the characters will get armor. They'll get upgraded armor pieces. They'll get upgraded weapons. Um, we're, we're probably even going to have slots for jewelry, um, you know. So it's 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 going to be a whole... It's going to be... Rage 2 is going to be very... It's going to have a lot more RPG elements in it, but it's still going to have the core of rage in it. In other words, where you need to reduce your rage bar in order to end levels. There's still going to be... It's going to be RPG, but it's going to have still have that... that, that, that um, that element of, of got to get this done type of thing. Um, so I want to go, I'll show you guys. Back to maps. We're going to go to main menu. And we're going to hit play. Okay, so this, for anybody who hasn't played Rage yet, why not go download it? It's free on PC and mobile and right now, so go play it. Um, don't mind these, the, all these flags are to tell me that those need to be removed. Uh, so, characters are all in here except for the... She doesn't work yet. You can use her, but she doesn't have any attacks. 
Um, so what I'll do is I'll choose her and I'll go into the line so you can get a good look at her. But all her all her dynamic footsteps are set up. Everything's already set up. It's just her attacks aren't in yet. And that's one of the things that we'll be doing. But this is her. Like, look at how she's gorgeous. Like, look at how beautiful she is. Like, she's a amazing model. Very well done. Right? This is the kind of quality that I would do. Like, this is my standard of, of what it should be. Right? Um... She has a jump. She doesn't have... Oh, she has a run. That works, sort of. Um, no other attacks, though. So, yeah. I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out if we can have it so that when you want to set your audio settings and stuff. So, the other thing, um... I wanted to show off. I'm using the dungeon because. Okay, this is where I kind of need input. And I'm hoping some people will actually give me some input on it. Do you think the mage should have an aura like this? And do you think the aura should do damage? So, I mean, this is this is what this is a, a uh, something I'm toying with. I set this up in my spare time the other day, um, and I like it. I think it's cool. Why is it too much? Right. Um, but yeah, if I go. And his dash uh, is very, very cool. It's a fire. He holds his hand out. Watch this. So he holds his hand out when he dashes. And it's just a fire dash. Which is... Right. Um, and the other thing I like about his, his aura is that it lights the way. Yeah. What do you think, Cabot? Do you think... Do you like the aura, or is it too much? Um, let's go over here, watch this. Now this stuff works, right? <laughs> and then you're getting your, you're getting your, your bonuses. So that's that's the idea like of what I'm thinking for an aura. I can probably tone down the aura a little bit so it isn't so big, but it it looks cool. Um, okay, so the other I'll show Void Walker as well. Um, it's, it's easier to show stuff in Dungeon. So this is the Void Walker. She's a kitty cat. And she has void abilities. And her aura gives off luminance, which is really cool. And she has a dash as well. Which is very cool. <laughs> it's so awesome. Um, and all her feet work. Like all her dynamic stuff. collect gold and at the end of the uh, when you when you beat things up there's a boss you got to reduce your rage bar that's right here 
When this rage bar gets to zero, a boss spawns. You kill the boss, you end the level, and then all the gold that you've made goes into your stash. And then when you got gold, you can go to the shop. Um, yeah, you can see a lot of things are whacked out here. Like that ore needs to be reduced. Because we're using the same blueprint for the characters. <laughs> so his, his ore is all messed up. Um, you got the upgrades still. So you use your gold, which is up here, to buy stuff in the shop. This is where your levels are, and then the other two levels are here. This bar is split in half because the Geo uh, collection is messed up. But yeah, that's basically where we're at with Rage, guys. Um, I me together really good. There's a few tweaks here and there. Those two levels, once. Once we get the destructive items set up, then I will populate those two boards with all of the destructive. I'll be able, once we have a, like, cause we go here, I'll show you. We have what's called a base. Um, where is it? A interactive base. And this base has all of the code and all the fields that we need. So I will, what I do is I make a child of this right rename it to what it's going to be and then i put the static mesh and geo collection of whatever item i need into that and then i just pull it into the world right and that's how i make my items so if i needed this needed this cup here i would make a child and then call it stern like i did up here right you can see this has all the attributes. It has the mesh. It has the interactive. Like when you hit it with a weapon, it plays a sound. There's an, a, an effect that goes off when you hit it. Uh, and when it's destroyed, there's a sound that's played. And then there's a, a destructive uh, VFX. And then all this stuff here, like minimum gold, like when you how much health it has is up here. And then how much gold it holds, how many gems it'll have. Um, you know, like every, everything is in here. Like every, that's why it's important that we try to get this all working with the geos because that's going to save us all that extra work. Right? So. But yeah, that's how that works. Let's go back to... Because it's pretty. I mean, these trees are. In I mean, this whole island is going to be not like I'm not even remotely done with this island. There is just so much other stuff. Like I built this. Um, I built this little water thing here. This little well by using these blocks. This entire thing is built out of this one block. Yeah, it looks so nice, doesn't it? And then that water is actual a plane with a water material on it. Oh, the other thing I should show you guys. Um, when it comes to this map, um, you can see all these sky so you can see see all these red uh, spheres they're all blueprints for ambient sound so depending on where i am it plays a set amount of ambient noise so when you're closer to the water you hear the water when you're closer to the trees you hear birds um so like right now you sort of hear the ocean but as you get closer, you hear it. 
and it's pan it's panable but depending on what side your character is facing right. um, so if I go over here And each ambient sound group has a set of sounds and they're on a random cue. So I have like three bird ambience. And what will happen is if you go into, if you cross, That's one cue. And that's another cue. So you can hear two separate ambient bird cues going off at the same time. One on one side of you and one on the other. So, yeah. This is, I have to say, the one thing about building maps, for me personally, is atmosphere. And... Anybody that's played the Chronicle, which is my first game, the first thing they um, comment on is the atmosphere. Because I was painstakingly nitpicky to a point of being obsessed with having everything be and sound and feel like you were in a horror game and you were on this little island in the middle of nowhere. Um, like... I, w I was so nitpicky about how I set that game up, like the way everything looks, the way everything feels, the way everything sounds. Like when you walk around that area, if, if it starts to rain, there's random weather. Um, and when it rains, it forms puddles on the ground. Your character actually walks through those puddles. You hear your, your character walk through those puddles. So that's why I'm a little confused that this this system on the, that I made is not working on this map with that water so I'm gonna I'm trying to figure it out like I can get it to work if I if I do this if I do a plane Oh, it's because I have to stop the game. Okay, so if I go here, that's not it. Plane. That's over here, yeah. Okay, so if I go, let's go over here for a sec. If I go here and I take this plane, I drop it in here, and then I increase its size, say, like that, right? And then I go I change grab water. Let's do the swamp water. Okay. Now if I open up this and I go physical material. If I put my physical material for water in there. And then I hit play. It works. Even though my feet are below it. Right? But I've got it set up exactly the same way with this ocean, which is oceanology. Right? I've got it, I've gone through every single material that's associated with oceanology, and I've put that physical material in, and it still won't work. So I don't know if it's a bug. So if anybody watching this knows why that's doing that, I would be happy for any input. Um, because even though my character is not on this, like is literally falling through it, 
my trace, my line trace is still hitting it and firing off and my notifications are still firing. But for some reason on the ocean one or oceanology one, it's not working at all. So I have no idea why that's not working. So if I go here and then I do uh, step on and I do block all and then I hit play. This should allow me to walk on it. Yeah, now there's collision. Why is it blocking it? Oh, there must be a weird. <sighs> Browse. Simple box. Yeah. I don't know why it's doing that. Delete that one. Okay. So this should work. For some reason there was two collisions set up. I don't wonder, understand why that was. It's still not working. Okay. So you can see I'm above it now. The collision is not working properly. But it's it. You can see that it it works, right? Like. Regardless of whether I'm through it or on it, it still works. Like the the the, the line trace is working. So, but when I go over here, even though everything's set up, oh, why is it keep putting me over here? Let's blow up. Gotta love that flute. So yeah, if I go over here, I walk in here. Nothing happens. You can walk underwater. Like I said, I'm gonna put a water volume under here. It's beautiful under here. Like you can see the caustics from the water above. Um. So I'm gonna put a water volume in here so that when you go underwater, you're slow. You're like. That way it feels like you're underwater, even though you are not can't swim. Because adding a swimming mechanic, I don't know if it's worth it, because then we'd have to find a way to transition the characters from swimming to their attacks. And that blend is going to be very janky, because we don't have the in-between animations for that. So to go from swimming to swinging your sword, we don't have that blend. So it's going, it's, it, it'll just be weird. Um, if I go down, I'll go lower. Yeah. So I've got, I've basically got two areas, um, two zones. So there's a underwater like this, right? Where you can hear the underwater stuff going on. And then as you go higher, you can sort of hear the you above. Know, you can hear some of the birds. Um, so I still have to play with those, but it's not. It's not it. Uh, but the reason I want people to be able to come down here is because I want to have put a hidden area. I got a hidden area over here um, that you're gonna have to going to be a barrier here you have to break in order to get in here. And there's going to be something in here. Um, the other thing, I think I've mentioned this on the other stream, the other thing that we want to add into the game is something called artifacts. And these artifacts are going to allow you to see barriers that are breakable to get into secret areas. 
Maybe it's not that. So yeah. It's coming along. It's gorgeous. I love this map. They're gonna put a barrier there too. I tried using other water materials because at one point we did think we were gonna put swimming in here. Um but I just um Like the other reason I want to use this is engine plugins. It's in here. There it is. So these, uh, there's a buoyancy as well. I guess I didn't have to do that. Um, that's built into, built into oceanography, oceanology that I want to be able to utilize because I want to have, um, I want to have props in the water that your character has to do. So that's another reason I want to use sociology. And I could use, there's other buoyancy systems. I probably use So what am I at? I'm on Epic, right? Yeah, I'm on Epic. This game is not optimized. This map is not optimized in the slightest. And some areas I'm getting well over three frames. But you also gotta remember I'm streaming as well. So And that's this is everything maxed and with my screen percentage at two hundred percent. Dropping it down to 100, and now I'm in the green. Hi. So it's, and this is a map that isn't remotely at all. Like I've done nothing to optimize. I've built it in a way that I know. You get it away from the water and things go up a bit. Yeah, we're a solid 60. So, and again, this is with me streaming as well, right? So, I've done a little bit of optimizing, but not a ton. Like... I go to this rock. I think I optimized this rock a little bit. Yeah, it's... No, I didn't. So if I drop this down to 60. That'll save it as well. So... But when I'm not in, when I'm not playing, it's I'm in the seventies, sixties. I mean, that's pretty good 
for not being optimized at all, I think that's pretty darn good. So my aim is when I'm building out the map, if I can get a constant 60 or above FPS while I'm in Epic, that's good enough for me. Because that means that somebody could put it on high with a relatively lower end system and play the game fine. And we also have... Um, back to main menu. I go to all right. This is the mobile. Uh, so I need to go into. I gotta change that out. Totally forgot about that. If I go in here and I go into. Your widget. Audio. Why is it not in here? Hmm. Well, that's interesting because I had a video with a uh, video thing all set up. I wonder where it went. I wonder if it got overwritten. Because I have the vid the widget here. That's interesting. Here somewhere. Yeah. That's really odd. Well, I'm going to have to look into that. Like, why is that? Because I had this all set up. I'm going to have to go back and pull it from one of my other... Uh, my other projects because I make backups a lot just in case so. so yeah that's everything that's going on um, I'm not sure what more we can talk about because there isn't a lot of people on right now It will get to a point on the streams. I'm going to start streaming more. I keep saying that. I know I keep saying that. Um, but I need motivation to do it, guys. I need people to get in the stream, talk to me. Um, you know, go to the Discord. My All my links are in, the, in my descriptions. Scream? Why do I want to scream? I said stream. Scream. I do want to scream though. Trust me. I want rage to do so well. I feel like Marketing is the one area we're so weak in. Go play the game. It's right there. Right there. <laughs> 